Hello friends and welcome back to another empties video. I hope you guys are excited. I love doing these videos because it gives me a chance to give you guys my review on these items that I've used up. So let's just get started. I have a nice variety for you guys here today. So this first item here is from Bath and Body Works and both of them are just hand soaps. I normally get these when they are on the semi-annual sale. This one here is the um, Sun and Shine Lemons. And this next one here was the Peach Bellini. And both of them are the Deep Cleansing. I love the beads that it has in these. Um, they smelled incredible, very fresh, nice for spring, summer. I love these, so, and I pretty much never really looked at the seasons. Um, I kind of use this one during winter time. And this one I just recently used up, so don't judge me. I don't really follow the seasons when it comes to these. They smell incredible year long, and uh, you can never go wrong with them. Next, we have a couple items that were sent to me by Influencer. This is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfur Free uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. I did not really think that these were moisturizing, and they actually say moisture shampoo and conditioner. I didn't really feel like they did anything to my hair but actually dry it out. So personally, I will not be repurchasing these. I was really sad that I didn't like them. I, however, still use them up because I hate to waste products. Product, they were just okay. I didn't feel like they did anything for my hair. They are supposed to do the um, color protection as well and I do have color treated thick hair, thick coarse hair. Well it's very thick and heavy I guess. It's not that coarse but I have color treated hair and this it just felt like dried out my hair like crazy. So um, if you have maybe too much moisture in your hair this may help or not enough moisture maybe this would help. I don't know. I just didn't really think it did anything for my hair, so I will not be repurchasing it. I'm sorry, Influencer. I still will review your products, but this did not do a whole lot for me. Next, we have an Aquaphor Advanced Healing Ointment. I love this stuff. It's all used up, literally. Everything out of here is used up. This I've been using for several years now on Layla, actually. So what I do is I use this on her face, and it keeps it so nice. And if she ever has a scratch or any form of boo-boo on her face or any other part of her body, this stuff takes care of it so well. It's so nice. Um, it absorbs into the skin very well. It does not, um, you know get her she has very sensitive skin just like I do and it does not you know irritate her skin I really really like this you guys I think you should try it for your child or just you um, Layla is almost four years old and I still use this stuff on her it's incredible I mean like I said I use this up and I've used several of these so I highly encourage you to um, go and check this out if you need it for your babies Next, we have the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. I actually really enjoyed this. It smells pretty good. You don't get a whole lot of product in here, and I'm sorry the bottle is pretty gross right now, but that's because it was in the bag with all of the other stuff, so it's a little gooey, but I can still smell it even by opening this up right now. I can smell it. It smells incredible. I love the fresh scent of it. It's definitely one of those perfumes that you want to use in the spring and summertime, so check it out. I received this as a gift, so I'm not even sure if this is still sold anywhere, but um, I go through perfume like crazy, so this stuff was definitely good. Next up, we have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation, and this I really enjoyed, actually. It was a different concept. It's basically, it comes with a sponge, and then you press the sponge down, and um, then you basically just press it down on your face like that. It does come with a very nice size mirror in there, and this is what I was talking about. So you have the sponge, which, you know, gets gross after a while, and that's the thing that just kind of grosses me out. Um, but what you do is just, um, this is always nicely sealed so that uh, stuff that's in the sponge does not really dry out. So then you press this down and then onto, you know, pretend like this is your face and onto your face. So I really like that. The only thing is for me, you know, the whole thought of a sponge and this is also a sponge there. It just grosses me out. So I use it and the thing is you go through this pretty quick. But the nice thing also is that you don't use a whole lot of this stuff. So 
I liked it. I may repurchase it. I may not. Right now I'm all set with foundation, but I definitely enjoyed trying it. I really was just curious about this whole cushion thing, and it's pretty cool. I must say it's pretty cool. Great job, L'Oreal. And the other, you know, companies have it too, but L'Oreal, I was impressed by this product. Next up, we have the It's the 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff, you guys, is incredible. The bottle is pretty tiny here. However, it's worth every every drop that's in here because it does amazing things to your hair i love this stuff i mean just on the back here you can see exactly what it's supposed to do for your hair i was in love with this i will definitely be repurchasing this the only downside is that you see how there's still product left down here you really can't um get it out anymore unless you know just unscrew this and get it out but you know that's just a tiny problem to have. However, I love this product. I highly recommend it to all of you to try. Next, we have the Eucerin Daily Protection Face Lotion. This is with SPF 30, so perfect for the summer months. I really like this. I was a little nervous to try it at first because I have um, always just used my Cetaphil lotion over the last um, few years, and I was a little hesitant to try it, but then um, I ended up getting this through couponing, which was great because it made me try it, so now I kind of have two awesome lotions that I know I can trust, and um, with my sensitive skin, I was highly impressed with this, so, and especially with the fact that it has the SPF 30 in there, it makes me even like it some more, and um, yeah, try this out, and you will appreciate it, and I love that it comes with a pump on top here too, so it made application super easy. Next we have my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer, the stuff that I talk about all the time. This stuff is incredible, you guys. It is for all skin types and it does have the SPF 15. I will continue to repurchase this over the years that I've used it. They have um, redesigned it. Um, it just looks a little bit different here. I love the pump applicator there and um, like I said, I will continue to repurchase this until I find something as equal as amazing, um, but I highly doubt it because I love this stuff so very much. If you have tried this Dove body wash, you will know how incredibly amazing this smells. I am so, so deeply in love with this one. It is just, I can't even describe to you the relationship we have. <laughs> um, this is in the pistachio cream and magnolia scent. I love this stuff, you guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop talking about it. It is so, so nice, um, so moisturizing. I mean, you walk out of the shower and you don't really even feel like you have to apply moisturizer. That's how amazing this stuff is. I highly encourage you guys to try this out. Yes, it is pricey, but it is worth every penny because it smells so incredible and it is so good. I just, I can smell it all the way over here. I can totally smell it. it smells incredible. Try it out. Next, I have a few mascaras here. This is the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. Um, this stuff was pretty good. I love that the little wand on it is pretty awesome. Uh, it captured all of your lashes, and I will definitely be repurchasing this one for sure. It was pretty awesome. Next, we have the Boxum uh, Mascara, and this is one of those deluxe sizes. I really did not care too much about this one. Um, the wand was almost a little too rubbery, and I just did not really care for this a whole lot. So I will not be repurchasing this item, but thank you very much for sending this. And I can't remember where I got this from. It was either in one of my packages that I received from... Oh my goodness, I can't even remember. That's how long I've had it, and then I finally started using it. Didn't really care too much about it, but the packaging is super adorable. Next up, we have the Lorac Mascara. I was not really impressed with this mascara at all. Um, the wand on this one here is pretty um, interesting, as you can see. However, by the time I had this mascara on for a few hours, it was all over my face, so it was definitely super flaky. I don't like this. I will not be repurchasing it, so sorry, Lorac. I love all of your other products, but this one was just a no-go for me. 
Next, we have this <laughs> eyeliner that the wording on it is completely gone, but you guys are going to laugh. This one actually, look how thin it is. Um, this here is by NYC, and it is probably one of those cheapest eyeliners that you can find, but it is so amazing. It's probably like $2, probably not even that, but I have not been able to find it at Target anymore because they discontinued carrying the NYC brand, so I will have to find it somewhere else. I was um, so in love with this product and I will be repurchasing it next time when I find it. I will be getting myself a few spares because I love it. I mean, the wording is completely gone, so the packaging is not all that great, but the product inside is worth every $2 that you can spend on it. So I will love this thing forever and ever. Look how gross it is gross. <laughs> We're almost done you guys. So this last one here is by Maybelline. This is one of those Age Rewind um, concealers and it has that gross sponge tip applicator. However, this feels really comfortable because you do it in the under eye area. And this is the brightener and illuminator. I love this stuff. I have gone through these like a crazy woman and will continue to use this stuff until they finally make something different but this makes your under eye area super bright it does not go anywhere it's nice and smooth and it makes it nice and light but to the point where you're not looking like a crazy person but it's just fabulous i can't tell you guys how much i appreciate having this in my life Last up, we have the Cetaphil Baby um, Daily Lotions. These are just little samples that I received um, at an event that I was at. I received a ton of them, so I've been using them on Layla. This stuff is incredible, you guys. I mean, um, it's kind of like a yellow um, formula there, but it is pretty awesome. It's very, very watery, but um, it does... An awesome job at keeping her skin moisturized. I have even used it on myself. It's very lightweight, non-greasy, and um, I have not really looked to see, you know, uh, if they have these at Target. I'm pretty sure they do. That's generally where I go at, but um, I still have so many of these, so you may see them in the empties videos again, but um, this is new, so I'm um, Try it out. It's the Cetaphil Baby. And you know I love my Cetaphil. So when I got these, I was like, yay, let's try this out. So All right, you guys. So this concludes my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below how you enjoyed these products here. And um, please let me know if you have any other product suggestions I should try from these specific brands or something else. And I would love to. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!